What is good, everybody? Today we are reviewing the AEW San Diego Comic Con 2024 exclusive AEW Supreme Edition Kenny Omega figure. Now, this figure was one of 1,000, and I was fortunate enough to secure two of these at San Diego Comic Con. I want to give a huge shout out to Jazzwares and the AEW team over there for making this review possible and giving me this Kenny Omega figure here for review. I'm very excited for it. Been waiting on this figure, of course, ever since we saw it revealed to us. And it looks like a damn good one, man. I'm, I'm excited for it. We have Kenny Omega here. You guys know I'm a big Kenny Omega fan. If you don't, well, well, now you do. Very cool packaging here. You can see the Canada Leaf there. San Diego Comic Con logo up here. Kenny Omega, one of 1,000 in that Comic Sans font, I think it is. But you have the nice viewing window there. Kenny Omega logos and everything. On the side, you have Kenny Omega there. AEW on the back. You get a nice shot of him V triggering somebody. You got Kenny Omega, of course. And then on the side, we do have Kenny Omega again. And on the side, it does say Supreme Edition right there, which is nice. Now, this actually is just a slip cover, and you can slide this off, and you can see that we have two separate packaging here. Here. Here's the front viewing window with all of the accessories included. And at the top, it does say STCC 2024 exclusive. Kenny Omega, one of 1,000 there. Got the nice looking shot of the figure. On the other side, you do have some comic panels, which look cool. Meanwhile, in Las Vegas, and you got some shots of Kenny in the matchup. Kenny Omega leans into battle or leaps into battle. Can anyone match his might? It's a nice shot of Omega. Very, very creative. I, I think this is very awesome. I like this packaging a lot. I think they did a very nice job on this. But on the back, it's the same as the back of the shipping cover or the slide cover or whatever the case is, man. But I'm actually very excited for this figure as a big Kenny Omega fan and as a massive fan of the Kenny Omega Supreme Edition that we have seen. Both versions, mind you. I'm very happy for this figure. I'm excited for it. We're going to dive into it. We're going to dive into it, man. Put him on the rotating base. See what this figure is all about. See how the San Diego Comic-Con 2024 exclusive compares to our collections. But with that being said, man, let's crack Kenny Omega out of his packaging, find out what he's all about, and see if this San Diego Comic-Con 2024 exclusive is worth a damn. So here's our San Diego Comic-Con exclusive 2024 Kenny Omega Supreme figure, and I'm liking what I'm seeing here as a huge fan of the original Supreme Edition. I like this a lot, man. I know we're going to get into some different accessories and break down all of the lore of the figure and what you exactly get and all those different things, but at first glance, I really enjoy this figure, man, and I remember when he first came out on television or when I when I saw him come out in this gear, I was like, oh, dude, we got to have that in figure form, but you know, you never know if we're going to be getting a tires, when we're going to be getting a tires, all those different things as, you know, some different delays and different things going on with Jazzwares and AEW, but I am happy to report that we actually did get this gear, so that is nice, and it's actually one of my favorite Kenny Omega gears that probably he's ever worn, so I'm excited to report on that, but nonetheless, man, what we're going to do is dive into the accessories that you get with this figure, and then we'll dive into the Kenny Omega Supreme Edition San Diego Comic-Con Exclusive 2024 figure itself. So getting into Kenny Omega's accessories, you get a few interchangeable head sculpts, some interchangeable hands, and some unique stuff going on. Now, you know it wouldn't be an AEW figure review without an AEW microphone. I mean, my lord, they just had to throw it in. There, I gotta get the AEW microphone in there. I like to think there's somebody on staff in the factory that every figure that comes to the door, he just shoves a microphone in there. There's just some sort of injection they just put up in there. But gotta include the microphone. Now, this is the accessory that's very unique, and I want to explain this. This is the trash can lid or the shield for our Captain America Kenny Omega right here. He does have the trash can lid, which is a solid sculpt. It doesn't have a handle on the top or anything, but on the underside here, you'll notice that it has this little hook right here or this, and this is actually a rubber band. Look at that. It's a stretchy band that reminds me a lot of a hair tie or some sort of ponytail band kind of material. That's kind of what it reminds me of, if you know what I mean. And look, it stretches out right there, and it just goes over the hook of the arm right there. And you can put this on even when he has hands on. You can also use one of the mic holding hands or one of the grabby hands to, to hook onto that, but that can go on there just like that, and you can remove it. So I think that's very, I don't know, very creative, man. I did not expect that whatsoever. I thought it would just be a regular clip, but having that on there is very very unique, but you can see the trash can lid right here. I think it looks awesome. They did a great job on this, and I think this is a very cool accessory. It makes the pack unique, similar to the coffin we saw last year with the Sting 2023 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive from AEW and Jazzwares. Now, up next, we have this gritting or pissed off face for Kenny Omega, and it's not anything new. We have seen a head sculpt multiple times over. It is in the dark, so you have the dark facial hair. It's okay, paint apps and everything. This is when he had the dark hair, I do believe. I want to say he had a streak in his hair or something, but you don't get that in the figure, but it's an okay head sculpt. I actually like this head sculpt. It's just, he does have the dark, you know, dark hair and, and facial hair and everything. And then you do have this smiling head sculpt. Looks a bit weird. It looks like it may be a little bit off printed somewhere, but we've all seen these head sculpts before. None of these head sculpts that you're getting in this figure are new. We have the smiling sort of, 
I don't know, like gritting off to the side face, which is also a little weird looking. And then last but not least, you do have sort of the straight face where it's just chilling there. And none of these head sculpts are necessarily bad. I think I like the two in the middle more than the two on the outside, but they get the job done. They're nice sculpts. We've seen them before, but they have, you know, they're solid. They get the job done. Again, this is just a repaint. We're not getting anything new out of these, but I do think we've seen better versions of these exact head sculpts in the line before, so I don't think these are going to, you know, really move the needle that much. And then last but not least, you do have interchangeable hands with this Kenny Omega. You do get fisted hands to beat the hell out of people. We have sort of your take flight or your offed hand for your shooter hands. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can use these hands, but I always like these for Kenny. You do have the mic holding or weapon wielding grappling style hands as well. And then you do get one broken finger, crooked finger shooting hand, which I always like. I always love the shooter hand. I need to heat that up. All you got to do is heat that up and then uh, get it in position and then run it under some cold water and you can fix it. Mine is a little bit warped, but always appreciate shooter hands. So getting into Kenny Omega, starting at the top of the head sculpt again, I just put a neutral face on there. This actually isn't even my favorite iteration on this, on this figure. I really don't even like this head sculpt that much but I did put it on there just for a neutral look but we do have the supreme torso right here which is good for Kenny Omega nice sized arms in there you know AEW and Jazzwares never really overdoes it in the arm department I feel like their arms are pretty skinny for the most part I think you know I think they could work on that but this doesn't look bad for Kenny Omega you do have some nice you know striations and you know veins and different things going on here but the torso looks good you do get the butterfly joints in there which is very nice white wrist tape nothing too immaculate going on there but then we get into the gear which is kind of what it's all about right we do have the Elite on the back. It is a white base. You guys know I like the white gears, but you do have the red Elite in there. You have the red stripes going around. Have the little target there in the middle. Very cool on the sides as well as you do get the Canadian flag or leaf. And then you do have the Omega logo with the Canadian flag sort of targets going down the sides there, which look pretty good as well. And then on the knee pad, unfortunately, my, my right knee pad looks good. You know, you got the leaf in there. It looks good like the, you know, the cap shield and everything. And then on the left side, it's supposed to be the Omega shield. And mine is a little bit misprinted. It's not the biggest deal. It's just offset to the left just a little, which is kind of frustrating, but I will lift. It's it's going to be okay there. Do have the uh, the blue knee pads in there with the white base and the white backing, which looks really good. Then we have the no pins in the legs, so they are pinless, but unlike Mattel, these are actually not, you know, super stiff, so that's good. You, you love to see that, but you do have the red lower legs, red kick pads with these silver details, and then Jazzwares does a really good job of capturing the shoe detail, so you do have the kick pad strap, and then you have his shoes that he was wearing. Now, I don't remember the exact brand or anything, but they look really good, and the accuracy is very nice. Nice tones on there and everything. Thing. They actually nailed it, and he has the toe pivot right there, which is very nice. So I like it. I like it a lot. They did a good job, and they even have the white on the outsoles of the feet. So lots of details going on with this Kenny Omega figure. Now, in terms of articulation, it's all the standard. You can look down good. You do have the ball hinge right there in the neck, which is good. You do get good flexibility here in these butterfly joints. The ab crunch is always great on the AEW figures. He can kick forward well. He can do the splitsies as well. Upper thigh cut, double jointed knee, which is good. You get the kick pad rotation. You get not that much ankle pivot, which is kind of crazy it's kind of weird it's like the ankle pivot kind of disappeared or something but you do get a little bit and then you do have the toe articulation right there but this figure is pretty damn cool man I i'm liking it and honestly if you lined up every supreme figure from kenny omega which we will do here, you will see that we actually have so many different options. So for your Kenny Omega Supreme figure comparisons, we do have every iteration of a Supreme attire. So you have the Walmart exclusive in the attire he comes with and the jeans promo gear Kenny Omega. Then you have the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Then you have just the normal Series 2 Supreme Kenny Omega here with the interchangeable gear, and I did do a head swap there. But I own multiples of this figure because it's one of my favorite wrestling figures ever. I really do love the Supreme Kenny Omega that much. So getting a repaint of it here is just as good. You know what I mean? I love it. I think it's fantastic. So I love all the Kenny Omegas we're getting, and I hope we continue to get more. I know we have an unmatched coming, but I would love to see another Supreme. I, I wouldn't care if they made another one. I know we have Will Ospreay coming. We have Moxley coming. We have the Sting that's hitting Walmarts as we speak, really, and that's another... God, I gotta get my hands on that Sting, as we know, but lots of Kenny Omega figures, as there should be, man. I mean, I'd, I'd say he's probably their biggest star, I think, so I'd like to see more Kenny Omegas, but all the Supremes look good, and I just love all of these. I think I would put these two at my lowest favor. I just don't care for this gear that much or this gear, but I really love both of these gears and then the jeans is just so money because you can do so many different things with the promos and the street attires and all that so that's always good to see and then for your shield wielding hero comparison we do have captain america up next to captain kenny omega or captain canada whatever you want to say but still cool you know you can see obvious comparisons there between the logos and the shields and everything and i i do believe it was supposed to be captain america inspired and avengers you know trying to tie that all together but i'm digging this kenny omega man pretty damn good stuff over here and then for some more kenny omega figure comparisons we do have the AEW unrivaled four the GameStop. Exclusive Kenny Omega in the pink attire, which we 
did get with the Series 1 and Series 1B editions of Kenny Omega. The Unmatched Series 1, the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, Ringside exclusive Blood and Guts, the Unmatched Series 5, and the Ringside exclusive AEW Ring Unrivaled Kenny Omega in the green. Keep the Kennys coming, man. We like Kenny. And then just to see what the Elite Championship looks like on Kenny Omega, here we have the MDT Elite Championship on Kenny Omega just for a quick little look there. So that looks pretty good. like to see it. All the colors look really good up there. So love to see that. Elite Championship. But I think that pretty much wraps up our San Diego Comic-Con 2024 exclusive AEW Supreme Edition Kenny Omega figure review. I did put the Ricochet vest on there just to see what it looks like. And it looks damn good, I think. You know, maybe a bit overbearing with the black, but I think it ties in nicely with the rest of the gear. And I think, you know, if you just want to put this, you could use this in a Fed or something like that if you wanted to do so. Maybe some figure photography. There's a lot of things you could do there, which I think would work well for this Kenny Omega. You know, if you're just, you don't want it accurate necessarily. You're just having fun with the figure and posing it around. I think this is pretty good. I think, you know, you could easily use this. It's, it's pretty good. The paneling looks nice. It kind of, the lines and everything kind of match up. I know he has the Ricochet logo on there, but I don't know. It's not the biggest deal. If it had an Omega logo, well, then you'd be cooking with something. Or maybe you can get a custom one made or something. But I think overall it does look good. But overall positives of the figure, it is a repaint of one of the best wrestling figures ever, in my opinion. I love the Supreme Kenny Omega original. I love the Walmart exclusive version. It's just such a great figure. It feels good in hand, poses around nice, great formula, great accessories, all those things. And it's a repaint of that figure. I know you don't get quite the bells and whistles with the, you know, any cloth goods. You don't get any of the interchangeable arms or anything like that. But I don't think it matters that much because the figure is so damn good. And it is, you know, just a regular old repaint, which is fine. But I think it's very creative with the shield. How they have the little rubber band on there or the kind of, reminds me of a ponytail band sort of material. That little hook right there that goes around the wrist is fantastic. And while it doesn't necessarily look like a trash can lid, I still like it. You know, it doesn't have the, the handle on the top. And again, I don't even remember if that was accurate or whatever the case is. But at the end of the day, the figure is so damn good. It's really good. I, I love the attire, like I said. I think it looks great in the arena. It's just a very cool figure. And I did not expect that little ponytail band you know, accessory there to go over the arm. I think that's very creative. They could have easily just made it really hard to get on there and you have to pop the hand off or do certain things, but they did a really good job there. It's very creative and good ingenuity, I think, is what the word would be. I don't even know what the hell I'm saying, but I like the figure a lot. And some executions may vary in the paint apps on the head sculpt. I think you may get some misprints here and there, but at the end of the day, damn good figure, damn good details, and just a really fun Kenny Omega repaint. And if you're a fan of Kenny Omega or whatever, man, I would go and grab this. I know, obviously, everybody that watches this video will not be able to own this figure, but I don't think that everybody out there is going to want this figure, but it's certainly a fun figure, and I think it's bad A. So as a big Kenny Omega fan, I was very happy to secure this figure here for the collection. That was one of my goals going to San Diego Comic Con, and we did accomplish it. So that's always a great thing to see, man. But I think that is pretty much going to wrap up our review, man. I'd love to know what you guys think down in the comment section below on this figure. Huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel, man. I appreciate you, fellas. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support, as always. Also, give me a follow over on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I greatly appreciate it. But that is going to wrap up the Kenny Omega San Diego Comic Con AEW Supreme Action Figure Review. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Love to know your thoughts again down in the comment section below. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I will catch you guys later.